Welcome back to Core and More. We got a little bit more chill music today, and that's because this is going to be very much a beginner core class. So if you were thinking, I'm going to have abs of steel after this class, uh, it might not be the class for you. But if you're somebody who it's hard to get up off of the floor or get down onto the floor, this is going to be perfect for you. All you're going to need is a countertop, or I have this really nice ledge on my porch, and a chair. That's all you're going to need today for our exercises. We're going to do a Tabata set. So it's going to be 20 seconds on, 10 seconds break, but only three rounds instead of the usual four. Are you ready to get started? Our first exercise is going to be a plank. You're going to come onto your counter and lengthen through the spine. Join me. We only have 15 more seconds left. Great. You stay there. You look good. Our second exercise is going to be lifting up that right leg, but maintaining that long lower back to use the glutes. There's three, two, one. You get that 10 second break, and then we're going to go into the plank with a leg lift. You've got this. In three, two, one. Nice long plank. Lift that leg up. Now, tuck the tail, making sure you have lots of space in that lower back. If you want a little extra challenge, you can take that left arm and lift it high. Notice my chin is nice and tucked and my head is long. There's three, two, and one. You get a 10 second break before we go to the other side. All right, there's five. Four, three, two, nice and long, lift up that left leg, good, if you're feeling good, lift up your right arm, very nice, long through the spine, lengthen here, you're doing great, give me three, two, one, you get a 10 second break, I'm going to explain a couple things, making sure you're not looking like old gray mare, draw up onto those tummy muscles. Join me in three, two, one. So nice, strong tummy muscles. You're sucking in just a little bit, finding a nice space in that lower back. Good, nice and tall here. There's three, two, one. You get a break. So we started round two already. We're already almost through round two. Right leg, we're gonna lift it in three, two, and one. Plank it out, lift through that right leg without dropping into that pelvis, so nice and long. Maybe this is still hard and you need to be up against a wall. Totally acceptable. Good job. If you want a little more challenge, lift your right arm. Two, and one. Good job. We're going to move to the other side. You have a 10 second break. There's three, two, one. Here we go. The left leg comes out. Again, if you want a little bit more of a challenge, bring that left arm lengthen through. It adds a little more dynamic there. Nice job. You don't have to do that. That's too much. Lift your right arm. Push your left hand to the middle of you. There's two and one. Good job. We have one more round left. So three more exercises in this set, and then we move to the next set. You're doing great. There's two and one. Plank. Very nice. Lengthen through that spine. Breathe here. Remember, don't let the back sway. Bring it up just a little bit for three, two, and one. Woo, good job. Okay, two more exercises. You've got this. There's three. Right leg is going to come up in two and one. Right leg comes up. Careful with the back here. If you want, left arm can join it or try the right arm. Ooh, that's a little more challenging, but kind of fun to see if you can do it. Three. Two, one, beautiful. All right, all right, one more exercise, one more exercise in this set, you've got it. Here's three, two, one, left leg comes out. If you want, try to do right arm, try to do right arm. If you're feeling a little sassy today, do left arm. Good job. You're almost there and then we're gonna move on to our next set. There's three two and one 
Great job. Meet me on the chair here, okay? All right. Our second set is just on our chair here. You're going to basically pretend you're doing a crunch. So even if you want to sit back, relax, take it in, all I want you to do is glue those legs together and lift and touch. Lift and touch. If that's too much, one leg at a time. So you're going to be marching those legs. Okay? That's your first exercise. Second exercise, we're going to come out to the side and do fire hydrants. So same leg, you're going to come out and down, out and down. And notice I don't even have a lot of range of motion here, but I want you to feel it right on the outside of that butt. Are you ready for these? I think you are. I think you're ready. And two and one, crunch up and tap, up and tap, up and tap. Good job. Remember, we're 20 seconds on, 10 second break here. Nice. Keep going. Okay, we have five, four, three, two, and one. Scoot to one edge of your chair. I'm going to scoot away from you so you can see that I'm holding on to my chair. We're going to lift that leg out in two and one. So lift it out, lift it out. I can come near you so you can see. Again, remember, I'm not lifting very far. I'm just trying to bring my leg all the way out, as far as my hip will let it. I want to feel a nice burn on the outside of that hip. Good job. Here's three, two, and one. Scoot your bum over to the other side. Scoot your bum over to the other side. Sit to the front of your seat. There's three, two, lift that other leg. Very nice. We have crunches next. Notice I'm standing a little bit taller here, right? Nice job. Woo! All right. There's five, four, three, two, and one. Sit it. So you're still, your butt's still to the edge of that seat, but now you're leaning back and relaxing if you'd like. Bring those knees up in two and one. Lift. And down. We're in round two now. Round two. Ideally, you want to feel this in your lower abdominals. And remember, you can always march those legs, right? March the legs. Works out great, doesn't it? Good job. Almost there. There's three, two, and one. Woo! Okay, come to one edge of your seat, lifting that leg out. I'll show you from a side view here. All right, there's two and one. Lift out, lift out. Good job. And maybe this works better for you because you can hang on to the top of your chair. Nice job. Almost there. We're going to do the other side yet. Five, four, three, two, one. Yes. Okay, other side. Here we come. Three, two, one, now lift it out, lift it out to the side. Now for me, hanging under the chair, I tend to feel a little more in the outside of my butt, I think because I'm maybe leaning in towards the back of the chair. So if you want to lean the opposite way to get a little more in that side glute, that would be an option as well. There's three, two, one. We have one more round, one more round. Keep the bum to the outside of your chair, lean back like you're on vacation. Three, two, and lift and tap. Lift and tap. You only have three more exercises in this round and then you're done and we move on to the next round. Nice job. Woo! Feel it in those lower abdominals. Five, four, three, two, one. Scoot it to one side. Maybe you lean in a little bit. Right? Or you're on or you're facing like so so you can lean into that the back part of that chair. Two and one. Lift. 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 Good job. Still nice and tall. Draw the lower abdominals in so you're super tall here. Good, good. Three, two, and one. Scoot yourself to the other side. I'm gonna lean in, lean in to me. Nice job. There's three, two, here we go. Last one, last one of this round of exercises. You're almost there. There, 
halfway through that last exercise. There's five, four, three, two, and one. Woo, we made it through that round. Good job. We're gonna stand up and rotate our chair around. We are gonna do an oblique set next. So the goal, that doesn't mean you're gonna make the goal, but the goal is to bring my elbow to my knee. So I'm trying to go elbow to knee. It might not make it there, but at least you're trying, right? That's exercise one. Exercise two, we're gonna extend both and we're gonna lean into the chair and come back. Lean into the chair and come back. Same setup, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, all the way through. We're gonna do one side and then we gotta go to the other side. I know, I know. Let's start in three, two, one. Elbow to knee and down. Elbow to knee and down. Good job. Very nice. You're halfway through that already. Even if you can only lift it to here and you're still feeling some work in that side body, perfect. There's two and one. Take a break because we're going to be standing on that same, for me it's my left leg, three, two. Remember you're going to tilt towards that chair. Here you go. Tilt and up. Good. Tilt and up. Nice job. After this, we have to move the chair to the other side of us so we can do the other side of us, right? Okay, there's three, two, and one. Good job. Move it to the other side. Chair comes to the other side of you. Very nice. Now, it helps me if my hand's a little bit farther ahead of me. Here we go. Elbow to knee and go. Elbow to knee. Elbow to knee. Good job. Very nice. Okay, teeter-totter, remember? Sideways teeter-totter is gonna be next, but you get a 10 second break in between there. There's three, two, and one. Woo, are you feeling in those sides? I'm feeling in my sides. Good job. Three, two, tilt towards your chair, tilt, and up, good, tilt, and up, nice job, and up, try to keep yourself in a nice, strong line here, good job, there's three, two, okay, we got to move back over to the other side, I know, I know, should we try these two last, like do two on this side and two on the other side, I think we should, it would be interesting to see how strong we are. Let's do it in three, two, and one. Elbow to knee. So we're gonna stay on this side for our last two sets and then we'll switch. Good job. Nice and tall. Again, sometimes it helps if the chair is a little bit farther in front of you. Three, two, and one. You get a little bit of a break, that 10 second break. But remember, we're teeter-totter towards your chair next. In three, two, bring it up, and one. And your teeter-totter might just be that your foot leaves the ground and comes back. Foot leaves the ground and comes back. Or maybe you're like, woo-hoo, all right. But this is a good practice of balance. So if you want, ah, right? Three, two, and one. Good job. We're gonna stay on this side, stay on this side. You're doing great. There's three, two, one. Bring elbow to knee. Nice. Now is that standing leg getting tired now that we are doing it all on this side? Good job. There's three, two. You get a 10 second break. Whew, thank goodness, my bum's getting tired. All right, teeter-totter. One more time on this side and then we switch sides in two and one. Here we go. Remember, if it's just a little lift, like you're just barely getting it off, great. Work with your body. This is good practice for you. Nice job. There's three, two, and one, reach, good. 
switch sides. Okay, elbow to knee, elbow to knee. We're here for two rounds and go. Elbow to knee, elbow to knee, elbow to knee. Elbow to knee. Good job. Nice work. There's three, two, and one. Woo. We get a break. Teeter totter. Remember, we're staying on this right leg. There's three, two, one. Try to lift it up just a little bit. Just a little bit. Good job. Almost there. Good, there's three, two, one. Nice work, we have one more round here. One more round, woo, almost there, almost there. There's three, two, one, elbow to knee. Good job. This is your last round, enjoy it. Are you starting to feel those obliques now? Obliques are located on the sides of your body. Or are you feeling in that standing leg butt muscle? There's three, two, and one. Good job. Whew, 10 second break. Love them. All right, five, four, three, two. Teeter totter to the side. Good job. Teeter totter to the side. Nice work. We only have one more set of exercises after this and then you'll be all done for the day. Remember, all of these exercises can be broken up into their own individual segments so that you can just do a six minute or four minute core exercises every day. There's three, two, and one, good job. Our chair is gonna go back away for our next set. Our very final set is gonna be mountain climbers. You know, when you see all those crazy kids and they're here and they're like, basically look like they're jogging, but like staying in this plank position, we're gonna be those crazy kids. Join me up against your countertop or wall again. Great, all we're gonna do is come in and you're gonna try to tuck a knee in as far as you can and plant it back down. Tuck a knee in as far as you can and come back down. The opposing exercise is gonna be, you're gonna be kind of standing sort of like plie style because we're gonna bring opposite knee to elbow and then opposite e, knee to elbow. So it'll look like this on the wall. So I can turn my body and use those obliques. Are you ready to get started? Let's do it. Remember three rounds, 10, 20 on, 10 off. In three, two, one. You're just gonna pick up a knee like you're marching, high knees, pick up a knee, high knees, good. Long through that spine again, very good. Three rounds total here for these exercises. There's two and one. Nice job. All right, we get a 10 second break and then we're gonna go cross. So remember you gotta stand with those plie feet. In three, two, and one. Toes are out. Try to reach opposite knee to opposite elbow. Opposite knee to opposite elbow. Now it might just be like this, like, oh yeah, Paul, I got my leg over there. That's totally fine. I just want you to feel a little twist and turn in those little lower abdominals and those side obliques. Good job. There's three, two. You can get one more on each side. One more on each side. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Good job. 10 second break, 10 second break. We're going back to those mountain climbers on the wall. Okay, there's three, two, one, lift the knee, lift the knee. Good job, look at you doing mountain climbers. Nice work. Make sure you breathe long here through the back. There's three, two, and one. You get a 10 second break, yes. Okay, we're already coming in round two. We're halfway through round two. There's three. Plie feet, plie feet. So feet are turned out, toes are turned out. Good job. Toes are turned out. Helps you with that turn. When you're turning, try to bring your knee to your elbow. 
That's where the foot being turned helps out. All right, there's three, two, and one. Beautiful job. We have one more round left. One more round. Hang in there with me. There's three mountain climbers in one. Lift the knee high. Lift the knee high. Good job. Now notice, I'm like really going for it, so feel free. This is your last set. Feel free to really try to go for it, but remember to listen to your body. If your body's getting tired, take a break. Just bring it maybe up to here. Little marches. Two and one. Woo! We're getting there. One more set. Cross mountain climbers in three. Toes are pointed out. Toes are pointed out in one. Here we go. Lift and plant. Lift and plant. Good job. Oh, you're almost done. There's five, four, three, two, one. Excellent job, everybody. Remember, you can take any one of these sets and make them their, their own. So you can just do like a little three minute set of core for the day and move on and then do a different one each day. I hope you can remain strong and healthy. Take care.